how do I choose the appropriate statistical test for my data? Choosing the appropriate statistical test for your data depends on several factors. The first important factor is the research question. What type of analysis you want to do? Whether you want to do comparing between the groups or you are trying to do relationship between the variables. For example, you are trying to understand is there any significant difference between male and female towards customer satisfaction. Here male and female is a gender variable which is independent variable and customer satisfaction is a dependent variable. If customer satisfaction is a scale data then we can use a t-test. So first the important factor is to understand the research question itself whether you want to do compare to study or else you are trying to understand the impact of one variable on the other variable. You are going to do regression analysis. And second important factor is a type of data. Determining basing on the type of data that is if we are using categorical data then you must use non-parametric type of tests. If you are using scale data then we can use parametric test. Okay. The third important factor for determining what test you want to use is basing on the distribution. If the data is normally distributed and scale data, then you can use parametric test. If the data is not normally distributed, but scale data, then you must again use non-parametric methods. Let me show you this table where I can explain you different type of test basing on properties of the dependent and independent variable. You can use, uh, you can see the first example here. Independent variable, we have one variable which is nominal. Okay, it is having exactly two levels. And the property of these two levels is independent. Means these levels are independent, like male and female. Two levels. Okay, gender is a variable, nominal data. Male and female is a two levels which are independent. Then, the dependent variable just now I said customer satisfaction is a scale data and normally distributed then you must use two independent sample t-test and you see here if the independent variable is nominal with the two levels but they are dependent like pre-test and post-test example here we must use a paid t-test if in case the same independent variable but having more than two levels and they are independent then you must use one way ANOVA in case this independent variable is a dependent having nominal data more than two levels and dependent then you must use repeated measure ANOVA you can see here the dependent variable in all these cases are scale data and normally distributed in case if they are scale data but not normally distributed they are ordinal then you must use non-parametric tests like man whitney u test, Will Coxon sign rank test, Kruskal Wallis test, Friedman test, etc. If both independent and dependent variable both are nominal, then you must use chi-square test. And if they are dependent again within this independent, if these levels are dependent, then you are going to use MacNema test. So basing on the properties of the data whether it is categorical or a nominal or ordinal the methods will change and whether it is normally distributing or not normally distributing also the methods will change here you can see different type of regressions if the dependent variable is scale data you are going to use linear regression if the dependent variable is nominal data with exactly two levels binary logistic regression you are going to use if the dependent variable is nominal with more than two levels, then multinominal logistic regression. And the dependent variable is ordinal data, then we are going to use ordinal logistic regression. So basing on the dependent variable data type measurement level, the regression method is going to change. The method also depends on sample size because the sample size will affect the power of your statistical test. A large sample size will give you more power to detect a difference 
if one exists. So basing on your sample size also, different methods can be selected. The last one is about your assumption. What type of assumptions you are keeping in your test? Are you talking about normality? Are you talking about homogeneity? Are different type of assumptions you are keeping? Basing on that, different types will be selected. Different type of methods must be selected. So I hope this video will be helpful for you in your research. Thank you for watching the video.